back with another video regarding the Ruger PC carbine. As some of you have seen in my other videos, I've been using the uh, this little Ruger for USPSA and for steel shoots, and it's been a been a great little rig, um, a lot of fun to shoot, easy to shoot, and so far it's been extremely reliable. I have um, probably around 3,500 to 4,000 rounds currently through it and not one hiccup with it, knock on wood. So uh, today um, I'm going to be talking about a new product that Parker Mountain Machine has just come out with for the Ruger PC carbine and that is a new forend for it. So uh, I've been waiting for this. I saw when they first announced this some months ago and I was very excited about it and uh, so I kind of I, I pester Jared at Parker Mountain Machine probably every week. Jared, if you see this, uh, sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, I was like that kid in the back seat saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And finally, guess what? We got there. So received this in the mail uh, just a, a day or so ago and uh, have been looking forward to putting it on the, on the Ruger and checking it out. So again, let's touch a little bit. Um, I use, again, as I use this rig for competition shooting, uh, one of my main gripes was, is that this is a very short forend. The factory forend is extremely short. And I like to, my style of shooting is I like to be able to grab the forend out here and use my weak hand uh, to drive the rifle onto target and really be able to pull it back into my shoulder uh, for double tapping on targets, such uh, things like that. So with a uh, factory forend, it's very, as you, you know, as you know, or you can see, it tapers down. And not only is it tapered down this way, it also gets very narrow at the front. And so, you know, when I grab it up here at the front, it's, uh, it's just not real comfortable. And, and, you know, you have this little rail section and the uh, uh, swivel stud there for a sling. So, you know, far from optimal in my opinion. So, you know, replacing it with the... Uh, Park Mountain Machine forend I think is really going to make it uh, much nicer to shoot. So just to touch on some of the things, again, if you look at some of my other videos on this particular little carbine, you'll know that I've uh, done some upgrades to it. I have the TACOM uh, oversized magwell, makes it real easy, fast, reloads. Uh, oversized magazine release, just slap it with the left hand, mag drops, grab a new one, push it in there. Uh, I have a Val Quartzen uh, 1022 trigger that I run in here, and yes, they will work. Um, again, I have you know 3,500 plus rounds, and no problems with that 1022 trigger. It really is nice. I mean, the factory trigger, I guess, is not bad, uh, depending on what you use the rig for. Um, uh, I'm not a fan of the factory trigger, so the uh, Val Quartzen was a is a nice a nice upgrade. And then I'm using one of Brian Miller's. This is one of his early prototype um, red dot mounts that mounts where the rear sight goes. You just remove the rear sight and this bolts in its place. And this is a uh, Vortex razor that I'm running on there. And a lot of folks ask about that. Is that for point of aim, uh, you know, shift when if you break it down? And again, I'm only using this for competition um, short range you know 40 yards max is a long shot in USPSA so I wasn't worried about an accuracy issue uh, what it what it is is that when you mount a red dot or a sight up here on the receiver it sits really high I mean you know your dots way up here and so with the design of the stock um, you know you for me my facial structure does not allow me to get a good cheek weld. I end up getting a chin weld, and that's not repeatable, and that's not good for consistency. So what this does when you mount the sight uh, up here on the barrel is that you end up lowering the dot about a half an inch, so pretty substantial. Even so, even with that, I still run a quarter inch um, cheek riser pad here um, that gives me a nice uh, cheek weld and very repeatable. So anyways, back on topic of this. So this comes uh, again from Parker Mountain Machine. You can go to their website, uh, parkermountainmachine.com, I believe, and um, 
it's just uh you know I've, again i was very excited about getting this it accepts all these are m lock um, slots so you have m lock slots on the sides and the bottom plus you have quick disconnect holes for sling um, quick disconnect sling studs if you want to mount a sling on here so yeah you know with these m lock uh, slots you can mount rails lasers lights you know festoon the crap out of the thing if you want to um, comes with uh, this simple instruction on uh, how to swap it out since there literally is one bolt that holds the uh, forend to the barrel it's pretty straightforward installation and so that's what I'm going to do right now um, is swap it over and we'll uh, talk a little bit more about it one of the things um, that folks probably are wondering is about is you know how much does this new rail weigh so I've got a scale here so we're going to throw it up here and weigh it so we're looking at just over 14 ounces according to this scale for all practical purposes let's just call it 14 ounces now the way I have this uh, rig set up right now currently we're at seven pounds 1.2 ounces so you know these aren't lightweights to begin with so now you know you got this heavier rail but you got to remember we're going to be taking this one off and replacing it and uh, this one i believe weighs just under eight ounces so you know you're, you're not you're not going to be gaining a whole bunch uh, it's going to be a little heavier of course but uh, so let's just get it swapped over and we'll um, throw it back on the scale and see what we end up with and um, just go from there all right i'll be right back all right so boy that took all of about 30 seconds to uh, swap over again one bolt and wow look at it <laughs> totally changes the uh the look of of the rig um pretty pretty cool looking now looks uh, very uh very gangster <laughs> so um yeah i just uh, after i swapped it out i did some you know quick handling with it and way way better um much improved over the the factory fore end uh, you can again i can grab it much further out here pull it tight it's big you know you can really get your hand on it um and hold it really really steady um still extremely fr free floated way more so than the uh, factory fore end i know uh folks uh, i was asked about that you know does it touch the barrel um you know touches the barrel the exact same uh, spot that the uh, factory fore end does yes you get you maintain your uh, takedown ability um you can still break it in half um, so you're not losing anything <clears throat> than that so let's um Again, we talked about the weight difference. So here is the the factory um, four end. So we're at seven uh, seven pounds nine ounces. So you know this is kind of a is a hefty little chunk of plastic itself. I mean it's it's not a necessarily a, a light weight. But let's throw the uh, the complete rig up here and see what we ended up with. So there you go, seven pounds, 7.5 ounces. So still under seven and a half pounds um, with it on there. So again, not, not a lightweight by any means, but definitely not uh, overly heavy either. And with that added weight, I mean, you know, your recoil, the muzzle rise on this thing is pretty much non-existent. I have a comp on it. Um, this is an all chin uh, comp and mainly I put the comp on there not for recoil reduction but mainly to make it louder for the uh, shot timer to pick up uh, because without it it's it's very quiet all right well I think that's about that'll about wrap it up um, I will make another video with me shooting it with the new handguard I just don't have time to get out to the range today to do that so look forward to a, another follow-up video of me uh, actually shooting it with the new handguard but so far um, i'm very pleased with it uh, aesthetically i think it's a huge improvement um, over the factory factory fore end and um, 
uh, again, just handling it here in the yard, I, I, I love it. I love it. Much, uh, much needed improvement in my opinion. So there you go. Ruger PC carbine with the new Parker Mountain Machine uh, M-Lock forend upgrade. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other videos when you get a chance. And stay tuned. We're going to have some more stuff posted up soon. Take care.